Greetings everyone, Cameron McCasland here. It's September 1st, 2010. Just want to come at you and talk a little bit about the Apple keynote speech that happened earlier today. Steve Jobs announced some brand new products that Apple is going to be releasing starting next week, including the new iTouch, an iPod Nano that has a touch screen, and Apple TV. Now those are the big three that everyone's been talking about. Just want to get your thoughts on that, see if you're going to be picking up any of those products. Uh, if you watched the keynote or listened to it, read about it, you know, your thoughts on any of those products. I'm an Apple user. I've been using a, an iMac the last couple of years as my everyday computer as well as uh, using an iPod for years and years before that. It really changed the way that I think everybody listened to music. Um, I think they've been a real forward-thinking company, but Steve Jobs kind of took a dig today at YouTube, Google, podcasters, whoever you know, whoever you think he may have took a dig at. Pretty much it was, it was Google he was going after because they're in competition. But he said, uh, and I'll read this here, it says, people want, ho people want Hollywood movies and TV shows whenever they want them. They don't want amateur hour. So basically he called everyone who's making... Everyday videos, amateur hour. I totally, totally disagree with this. Um, number one, because I think there's a lot of really good content coming out through, you know, everyday people these days. Uh, stuff specifically here on YouTube. But even that, like, I end up watching a lot more videos on YouTube than I do spending hours watching television at this point. And while I do enjoy Hollywood movies and independent movies and every other thing, there's a lot of times I just want to see what people are doing in everyday life. Uh, I watch a lot more content here watching you guys than I do you know, watching television to see, you know, what's on Law & Order or anything anymore. So, just kind of want to get your thoughts on that. If you thought it was just a straight dig at, like, you know, you or us personally in that sense, or if it's just, like, him trying to, you know, take a slap at Google because they're in competition. And I totally get that. I mean, it's like they're, you know, they're at each other's throats trying to take top shares of different markets and things like that. But still, I just thought, you know, with Apple being as forward-thinking as it has been over the years, I thought it was just kind of a backhanded remark that while, like, they're going after this corporation, it kind of takes all these millions and millions of users and just, you know, kind of gives them a bitch slap, which I really didn't appreciate. But, you know, such is life. So anyways, tell me what you think about the new Apple products, if you're going to be buying any of it, um, if you you know, think that there's anything that you could use or anything that you think is better that you would point me towards. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, I've been really considering buying an iPad because I think it's a cool product, but it's kind of the same, you know, problem that I had with the Touch the last couple of years. They didn't put a camera on it. There's no USB ports, just things like that. So I didn't go ahead and pick it up, and I'm really kind of glad I didn't do that because now I'm going to be able to grab this Touch, which has got pretty much all the things that I want. It's going to save me a couple hundred bucks. So anyways, let me know what you think, um, if there's anything, you know, that you can point me towards. Or if you've got any ideas, if you guys get any of this stuff next week, be sure to do a review. Send me a message. Let me know. I'd love to check it out. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.